Eliyahuam, died 264, courtesy Nain Yuanjian, originally named Liaoshuan, was a military general of the state of Shu Han during the Three Kingdoms period of China. Like Zhang Yi and Zong Yu, Liao was one of few officials who served the Shu Han state throughout its entire existence. Liao was from Xianjiang, Jing province. He was a registrar, under Guan Yu, a general who served under the warlord Liu Bei and guarded Liu Bei's territories in Jing province. In late 219, while Guan Yu was away at the Battle of Fanchen, Liu Bei's ally, Sun Quan, broke the Sun Liu alliance by launching an invasion on Jing province and conquering most of Liu Bei's territories in the province. Guan Yu was captured and executed by Sun Quan's forces. Liu Hua became a prisoner of war of Sun Quan, but he constantly thought of returning to Liu Bei's side, so he faked his own death and succeeded in deceiving his captors and escaping. He brought his elderly mother with him and headed west towards Yi province, covering present-day Sichuan in Chongqing, where Liu Bei's domain was based. In 221, Liu Bei declared himself emperor and established the state of Shu Han. Later that year, he launched a military campaign against Sun Quan to retake his lands in Jing province and avenge Guan Yu. Liu Hua and his mother encountered the Shu army at Sigui County. Liu Bei was very pleased to see Liu Hua and he appointed the latter as the administrator of Yidu Commandery, around present-day Yidu, Hubat. After Liu Bei died in 223, Liu Hua became an army advisor, under Su Zhiyang the imperial chancellor of Shu. He was later assigned to be in charge of Guangwu commandery, around present-day Yongden County, Gansu, and was subsequently promoted to right general of chariots and cavalry. He was also appointed as the inspector of Bing province even though Bing province was not under Shu's jurisdiction, and in theft as a marquee of a central district. He was known for his fiery personality and determination. His position in the Shu military was equivalent to those of Zhang Yi and Zhong Yu. Liaohua was critical of the Shu general Jiang Wei, who continued Zhu Jiang's aggressive foreign policy against Shu's rival state, Chao Wei, by launching a series of 11 campaigns to attack Chao Wei between 240 and 262. He participated in the third and fourth campaigns in 248 and 249, respectively. In 262, when Jiang Wei was about to embark on the 11th campaign, Liaohua remarked, one who does not refrain from using military force will end up burning himself. I am referring to Boi Yu, Jiang Wei. He is inferior to the enemy in terms of intelligence and military power, yet he keeps attacking them. How can he expect to overcome them? The events of today are exactly as described in this line from the classic of poetry, why were these things not before me? Or why were they not after me? In late 263, Xu's rival state, Chao Wei, launched a campaign to conquer Shu and succeeded in doing so within a year when the Shu Emperor Liu Shan surrendered. After the fall of Shu, Liu Hua was ordered to move out of former Shu territory to the Wei capital Luoyang. He died of illness on the journey. Liu Hua's birth year could not be determined because his age at the time of his death was not recorded in history. However, it could be deduced that he was in his 70s when he died, around 261, when Zhou Zhan took charge of affairs in the Shu imperial court. Liu Hua visited Zhong Yu who said, both of us are already above the age of 70. The 14th century historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms has a few stories about Liahua which are not found in historical records. In Chapter 27, Liahua, a bandit chief and former Yellow Turban rebel, encountered Guan Yu while the latter was on a quest to reunite with Liu Bei. He was accepted by Guan Yu as a subordinate after rescuing Liu Bei's two kidnapped wives, Lady Gan and Lady Mi. From a fellow bandit named Du Yuan. In Chapter 73, Liu Hua took control of the vanguard during Guan Yu's march on Xianjiang. He successfully lowered the enemy generals Charan and Zhai Yuan out of their castle, allowing Guan Yu to seize it. In the subsequent Battle of Fanchen, Liu Hua was stationed at Sishong where he was in mutual support of Guan Ping's encampment at Yanchen. When the enemy general Su Huang captured both Sishong and Yanchen, Liu Hua and Guan Ping fought their way south to join Guan Yu. When Guan Yu received news that Liao Bei's territories in Jing province had been conquered by Sun Quan's army, he retreated to Maichen and was besieged there by Sun's forces. In Maichen, Liu Hua volunteered to break out of the siege and seek reinforcements from Liu Feng and Mungda in Shangyang. However, Liu Feng and Mungda refused to help Guan Yu, so Liu Hua had no choice but to travel to Chengdu to report the situation to Liu Bei. By then, Guan Yu had been captured in an ambush and executed by Sun Quan. In his later life and career, Liu Hua actively participated in the Shu campaigns, Zhou Jiang's northern expeditions and Jiang Wei's northern expeditions, against Wei.
One of his most celebrated moments came in Chapter 103, when Sima Yi was retreating from Shangfang Valley. Al Yulhua pursued the fleeing general into a dense forest and, being a proficient horseman, was able to catch up and get close enough to strike him down. However, when Sima Yi swerved around a tree, Al Yulhua missed the shot and his sword became lodged into the wood, allowing Sima Yi to escape. During the chase, however, Sima Yi dropped his golden helmet. Al Yulhua took the helmet and traveled back to Zhou Jiliang, who rewarded him with the first grade of merit for his attempt. This event angered Wei Yan who felt Al Yulhua was being unfairly praised. Zhou Jiliang noticed this but said nothing, leading to a mild distaste for Wei Yan's jealousy. The helmet was henceforth used as a means of mocking and provoking the Wei army. Following Zhou Jiliang's death, Al Yulhua moved up the ranks under Jiang Wei, eventually receiving the second in command military rank of General of Chariots in Cavalry. As Jiang Wei's senior general, Al Yulhua was often tasked with the most important of duties such as leading the vanguard and dueling enemy generals. Despite his steadfast loyalty to Xu, Liu Hua disagreed with Jiang Wei's constant invasions of Wei and his attempts to claim victory through overpowering numbers, believing these tactics to be a drain on resources and morale. He let it be known that he would run the military differently if he were in command, and this led to quarrels between Jiang Wei and himself. When Liu Shan eventually submitted to Wei in Chapter 119, Liu Hua succumbed to grief and died. The Samizhou, literally the broom sweeping away superstitions, a novel written by a certain Zhuang's literally strong man, during the Qin dynasty, contained a saying about Liu Hua, if there are no great generals left in Shu, Liu Hua will be the vanguard. It can be interpreted as, Shu was so lacking in talents and new blood in its twilight years that an elderly Liu Hua had to lead the vanguard of the Shu army in battle. The proverb is also used to describe a situation in which a person who is seemingly unfit for a job is forced into doing it but is willing to face what seems to be insurmountable odds against him slash her.